Alrighty, we're going to do question number one from the 2017 exam. Um, this is one that is uh, like every question one you are analyzing experimental data. And so it has four parts, um, and so we'll go through them one by one. So the, um, the top part is just background information. Make sure that you read that. It helps you answer the questions down at the bottom. It gives you a little bit more um, information to uh, put into your answers. Um, so then you're not really guessing what you're talking about. So read that first. Um, it's important. So it talks about um, flowering plants and levels of caffeine and the memory that it has on um, the bees. And so um, just make sure that you read that. And so we'll go through the sort of the how to answer the questions and try and get the most points out of it. So the first part, which I said before, I don't think we're going to have to make a graph because um, you won't have graph paper and different things like that. But just in case. Um, it, so it says on the axes provided, construct a graph. Um, of the, an appropriately labeled graph to illustrate the effect of caffeine, blah, 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 blah. So most of the stuff you know. You know to make a title, you know to label the axes. Um, this is talking about treatment versus um, the time. And so it is, uh, or the average probability, sorry. Um, so that is a thing versus a number. So we know it's going to be a bar graph. Um, and on, then on this, the weird thing that it has is these... Um, error bars that you need to make sure that you you make so you would make your scale and then you would say this is 0 0.72 um, and then you take 0 0.72 plus 0 0.09 and minus 0 0.09 and then you would make little points and then you connect those and then you do that um, for all the four things the the um, control in the caffeine at 10 minutes the control in the caffeine at 24 hours and then you'd make a little graph um, then I made up one that um, so I'll show you sort of what the finished thing would look like, um, and it would look like this. So we'll sort of shove that down there, um, what you, if in case you want to look at that later, but, um, oops. And so, oh my gosh, um. And so then you'd have your little um, graph. I sort of cut it off over here, and that's okay. Um, but you get the point. And so uh, you need to be able to make a graph. If they ask you, I don't think they're going to ask you. Um, and so then it says, based on the results, describe the effect of caffeine on each of the following. Short-term and long-term uh, memory. So 10 minutes and 24. And so if you look at the data, um, it shows that after the, on the 10 minutes, uh, between the control and the caffeine, there's no real significant uh, difference. And so um, you would say um, caffeine, whoops, oh my gosh, um, does not, I'll just say doesn't, um, affect memory, and you could say in bees, Um, at 10 minutes. Caffeine improves, or you could say increases memory at 24 hours. And so um, it's best to be as specific as possible, um, and so not it has it doesn't affect it um, or you couldn't you wouldn't want to say um, caffeine doesn't have any effect at 10 minutes you want to say it doesn't have an effect on memory in bees at 10 minutes you just want to sort of be as specific um, as possible um, without talking about it too much but you want to make sure that you're talking about all the data and then make sure that you um, specify 10 minutes at 24 hours and so they know that you know uh, specifically um, what <clears throat> the question that you're answering. And then um, letter C says, design an experiment using, using artificial flowers to investigate potential negative effects of increasing ca caffeine concentrations in nectar on the number of floral visits by bees, by bees. And so when it says design an experiment, you can say almost anything if it makes sense. You could say, I would use plastic flowers and um, differing amounts of caffeine or differing amounts of nectar or the same amount of um, nectar and differing amounts of caffeine 
um, and then I would measure the amount of visits um, by the bees. So you just say sort of anything that you want. Um, and so uh, on when it's a design and experiment, if it is a logical answer, you will probably get the points for it. And then it asks you to identify three specific things on this one. So it says, identify the null hypothesis. And so you would say, the null hypothesis is that an increase in caffeine would have no effect ooh, oh, on B memory. Now, remember, the null hypothesis means that what you're doing won't make a difference. And so we want to disprove the null hypothesis, but you still state it. And so you're stating that what you're doing won't make any difference. That's what that's what they're asking for in a null hypothesis. But we know that that's not going to be true. And then it says um, an appropriate control treatment, a control would be, and you could come up with a few things. The easiest one is that you would have uh, flowers, maybe you could say plastic flowers or artificial flowers or however you wanted to do it, um, would be flowers without caffeine. So pretty easy. Um, and then the last thing that asks that you need to make sure that you specify is that um, what would your predicted results be um, to, to use to reject the null hypothesis. So this is what you expect to happen. You expect that there will be a difference. So, so my or uh, maybe the predicted results. Sorry about my uh, grandfather clock, it's sort of loud. Um, would be that the number of visits of the bees would increase as compared to the control. And so um, I didn't write the whole answer here, but I wrote three parts that they specified. You need to make up an experiment and then you need to state those three things. And then the last bit, it says, whoops. It says researchers found the nectar with the caffeine tends to have lower sugar content than nectar without caffeine. Plants use less energy to produce the caffeine in nectar than they do to produce the sugar in nectar. Propose one benefit to the plants that would produce nectar with caffeine and a lower sugar content and then produce one cost to the bees. And so um, the plants would benefit because uh, there's a few answers that you could put here. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is if a plant can get more bees, then it can pollinate more. And so um, the bees Another thing they might say is um, that they use less energy. And so they can use it for other things. Um, and then uh, the bees would use more energy or um, have less quality honey. Um, they'd have to travel more, or we put that. Um, they would uh, make less food. Um, so then they would need to um, use more energy. And so the four parts, just make sure that you're doing them all. On the first one, it is make a graph and then answer the um, questions. Um, really carefully if you're not sure if you're done or not 
make sure that you go and you say, did I do this? Yes, 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 yes.